This week, Palm Springs is expected to swear in California's first ever transgender mayor. Lisa Middleton will also become the second transgender person to serve as the mayor of a U.S. city. She'll be sworn in at Thursday's council meeting. I spoke with her today about her new role and her goals for the city. Lisa, first off, how does it feel to be making history for the transgender community? Uh, it feels wonderful to be uh, able to, uh, to do this in Palm Springs. Are you surprised that there are not more folks in politics who are transgender? Well, we are increasing the number of individuals that are transgender that are in uh, politics, and uh, I'm thrilled by that. Uh, uh, the number uh, on the night that I was elected went from seven to 15, and we've almost doubled that number again. Almost doubled. So now that you will be soon becoming mayor of Palm Springs, what are your goals for the city? Uh, that we deliver the highest quality of services uh, to uh, this incredible uh, community that we get to live in. Uh, but uh, one of the issues that uh, has certainly vexed all of us uh, is uh, homelessness. And I am very hopeful that over the course of this year uh, that we're able to see some tangible improvement in uh, in the number of individuals that are unhoused in our community and with some of the problematic behaviors that so many of our residents and businesses have had to encounter. Yeah, I think everyone agrees that homelessness continues to be a major issue. Any other issues in the city that you plan to address? Affordable housing, we are going to constantly in Palm Springs be a community that wants to be on the leading edge when it comes to addressing climate change. And we should also mention that you're also seeking state office. So how do you plan to uh, <laughs> juggle both? Well, if you want to get things done, find a busy person to do it. So uh, I am certainly going to be that busy person over the course of uh, this year, but uh, uh, I'm by far not the first person who's held one office while running for another office. And uh, it becomes a uh, scheduling issue, but uh, I just got some great support here in Palm Springs. Well, you're certainly very busy. Anything else, Lisa, you'd like to say before we let you go? Uh, my story is the story of the acceptance and the support and the belief in diversity and inclusion uh, that you see in Palm Springs and what has uh, been, I've been able to do here uh, is, uh, is something that I could not do in uh, I think almost any other community other than Palm Springs. Uh, so I am so proud of uh, uh, this community and so honored to be a part of it. Wonderful. All right, Lisa, wonderful to speak with you again. Thanks so much for joining us.